Yeah, David Schmidt for Walton Beach City Council. I uh, want to encourage everyone to get out uh, June 6th at 5.30. Meet us at the City Hall Chambers discussing some information on the fire assessment fee. So what is the fire assessment fee? The fire assessment fee is a stable way of funding the fire department. It is an additional cost, it is an additional burden to the citizens of Fort Walton Beach who, who we work for. Um, there's different options that the city staff is working hard and has worked hard to, to put together to get to this point of different options of what levels of fire assessment fee would be implemented if it did pass. What staff is recommending, and they've worked extremely hard to get to this point, but what staff is recommending is a more stable way of funding the fire department. But those dollars that we're trying to get through adding costs to our businesses, to our churches, to our schools, to our residents, that cost that, that the staff is recommending to acquire, I want to have a conversation on how we can get those dollars through doing business more efficient, through thinking outside the box. We're in times where we have to ask ourselves and ask our different departments, are we running as efficiently as we possibly can? And I want to hear more conversations about how we can run more efficient. I want to hear conversations on how we can go get those additional dollars that we're wanting, but run more lean and run more stable in those different departments that we're just used to running a certain way. Our staff does a tremendous job. They work really hard. I just don't want to add additional costs to the folks who we work for, which is you, the citizens of Fort Walton Beach. What is the fire assessment fee and how is it going to impact the different businesses, churches, schools, and residents? The residents will, there's different options that staff is recommending and the different options they're presenting to council. But the residents will have a flat rate of X amount of dollars. The institutions, your schools and your churches and your nonprofits will have a certain rate depending on what option is approved, if any option is approved, it'll be a, a rate per square footage. So if you're a church or you're a school, you're paying that rate times your square footage. Same thing for businesses. Based on your square footage, you'll be paying a rate times your square footage. And at this point, the, the, the option that's being entertained is putting it on the November property tax bill, which is very similar to a tax. It's being called a fee, but I've confirmed that if businesses or residents don't pay this fee, there could be a lien on their property and that is very similar to what's called a tax. So as we learn more about this fire assessment fee, I appreciate all the hard work that the staff has done to get to this point. I appreciate all that the chief and, and the fire department does to keep us safe. And I've confirmed with the chief and the city manager that our fire department will continue to be exceptionally well regardless if this fee passes or not. So the public safety being our, our top priority, we will still have an amazing fire department. But I want to have a conversation on how we can do business, how we can create revenue without adding a burden to our businesses, without adding a burden to our churches, without adding a burden to our schools, and without adding a burden to our residents. We have so much potential here in Fort Walton. We have so much amazing things here in Fort Walton. I want to make it where it's easy to incentivize people to come here, live here, work here, play here. And by adding an additional burden, by adding an additional cost to our businesses, to our churches, to our residents, it makes it more challenging to sell this great place we call Fort Walton Beach. If one of staff's recommendations pass that adds a fee to our churches, I want to point out that our churches do so much in this community through, through feeding the homeless, through providing transportation to one hopeful place, to doing different things that we rely on the faith-based community to do. By adding a fee to these churches, it's gonna take away from their buckets of money that they use to pull right back into our community. We do not need to be going after the churches. We do not need to be going after the schools. We do not need to be going after the residences and the businesses in Fort Walton. But instead, let's go after how we can run smooth and do business in a different way to make sure we are running as efficient as possible. After talking to some business owners, some residents,
some of them have said, you know, I could afford to fork over this little amount of cost to go towards public safety, to go towards the fire department. It's not so much about the cost we'll see in this immediate year, but instead, philosophically, I don't want to open up a way of adding a burden to our businesses, to our residents, that the cost might be minimal now, but what will it look like decades and generations from now? Let's run more efficient, let's do business as good as we possibly can, and make it where we continue to be a lower tax base community and keep it that way. So, reminder, please come out June 6th. I encourage you to stay involved, stay engaged, gather information whether you're for or against the fee on Tuesday, June 6th, Fort Walton Beach City Hall Chamber at 530.